Hey, Glav here and welcome back to Glav's World. It's been about a year since I've posted a YouTube video. Sorry about that, but I just lost interest. Done lots of nice roads, both here and Thailand, but just lost interest. But I was going to be lazy again this time, but the boys reckon this is such a hardcore epic ride, we should record this one. This one's nearly a full lap. We don't go to Sydney and Melbourne, however, because who cares? And I'm guessing by the time we finish after 28 days, we will have done about 15,000 kilometres. On this ride, there's me, Glav, on the Indian, The Rock, Rutka, on the Beamer, and my mate Dave on his Harley, his Heritage. Off we go. Let's hope we all go to plan. Happy days. Saturday, 20th of April, day one of our Auslap. Five kilometres down, 15,000 to go. Gilgandra tonight, big ride, 780 k's. Happy days. Beautiful day. We are going up Cunningham's Gap, which means we're going up and over the Great Dividing Range. The Great Dividing Range runs from here in Queensland right down to Victoria. It's many, many, many thousands of kilometres long. I don't know how, what it is in elevation, but you can feel it getting colder. Generally a nice bit of road this, but I can tell you they've been doing road works on this road for the last 30 friggin' years. I don't know when it's ever going to be finished. We're at Yalabin about 300 kilometers since we left this morning these are silo paintings they're just gorgeous i've put the drone up here before but haven't got time today um just gorgeous silo paintings like this are th throughout all of australia let's see how many more we can get on the way around we've just passed over the border from queensland to new south wales Done about 340 k's, just had some lunch at Gundawindi. Now we're in New South Wales, need to be a little bit careful, it's school holidays down here, so double points. Uh, could almost lose your licence in one speeding fine. Australia's a nanny country, fair to come, it really is. Uh, still a long ride to go, about 340 down, about 435 to go. Day 2, 11 degrees, 7 a.m., just leaving Gilgandra, heading for Broken Hill. I guess we'll arrive there in about 750 k's at the end of the day. Looks like the weather's going to be good, beautiful blue sky, not a cloud there. Happy days. We've knocked over about... 325 kilometres so far this morning, which means there's about, I don't know, 425 to go, so we're not even halfway yet. This is typical Australian bush side, um, countryside, reddish dirt, scrub, it's quite typical. Long straight roads out here. Lots of feral goats everywhere, got to be careful of them. Bad enough to look out, look out for bloody roos and emus, but bloody feral goats out here everywhere. Many people would find this sort of riding boring, but oh, fucking goats, look at them. Fuck. Um, it's interesting in its own way as well. knocked 
kilometers thereabouts and we've got oh how far we've got about another 128 to go till we get to the town of Broken Hill um, Broken Hill may sound a bit familiar to some people because BHP Broken Hill Proprietary is either the largest or second largest mining company in the world um, and this is where it started uh, it started in the town of Broken Hill thus its name we're about five, uh, four kilometres out of town but there on the left you can see the big um, lifts and so forth to go to the underground this must be one of the original mines I guess go to the Prohart uh, Art Museum yes that's right you heard it a couple of greasy bikers going to the Prohart Contemporary Art Museum and um, go up to the lookout as well cool this is the memorial board for all the miners that died in the in accidents here at the um, underground uh, it starts in 1884 or something like that and you can see dust on lungs, lead poisoning, accidents, fall on grounds, fall of timbers. And you see all the roses here, there's about 800 of them. You know, back in the old day, they actually died of peritonitis from straining. Crushed by crane, unbelievable. Very dangerous. <coughs> I was dubious about going to the Pro Heart Museum, but I've got to tell you, if you come to Broken Hill, it is a must-see, and the lady, the curator there, was ever so helpful, and she told us stuff that we just had no idea about. For example, Broken Hill is the start of the trade union movement in the world today. Really, it's a must-do. Day three, just leaving the town of Broken Hill. Another big haul today. Um, it's 670 kilometres or something like that. We bypass Adelaide, end up at Border Village, sort of either on the start or the sort of just onto the Nullarbor Plains. Beautiful blue sky in front, happy days. We've just crossed from the state of New South Wales into the state of South Australia. We have many, many, many more kilometres of uh, basically not much, nothing flat, arid, red dirt, scrubby land. We're about 35 kilometres outside Port Augusta and lo and behold we're going across a range and look at the road, yeah you are! It's great after riding straight for hundreds of kilometres. Very twisty. <laughs> Love it. Who could believe this? It might be the actual ocean, but then you got all these fucking wind turbines destroying the view. And they call that green. They call it environmentally unsound.
good morning. It's about 6.45. We're just heading out of the little township of Wandina. Today about 690 kilometres thereabouts. About seven hours riding time, a bit shorter than that. First stop will be in Sejuna. A couple of hours away where we'll stop for a coffee. We're in the town of Sejuna, down on the Great Australian Bight. Just looking for a coffee shop. We've knocked over, I don't know, 210, 220 k's, something like that. Um, go down here and have a look. Looky, looky. on the Nullarbor Plain. That means a thousand odd kilometres of straightness. There is a massive cross rent across the bike which makes it a bit of a struggle at times if you're going to hold the bike still. pulling away from the border roadhouse and then it's literally on the border coming up to quarantine here we're gonna to have to stop pretty serious about um, foods and that going from one state to another ah. just have a quick look in a couple of your random bags sure Well, in Western Australia now, here we go. Our destination, we've just left Border Village, which is literally on the border between the two states. And we're just heading for the town of Norseman, about 700, just over 700 kilometres away. Um, full day's ride again, obviously. It's cold, I don't know what temperature it is. Let me have a look here. It says it's 15, but it feels a lot colder than that. Happy days! Oh, we've done, I don't know, about 150 k's this morning and still on the Nullarbor Plain and nothing really to report. The landscape's the same, except apparently we're now on the longest straight, dead straight bit of road in Australia. 90 kilometres long. Pulling into Norseman, just fueled up, so if it's doing it in the morning. Today, about 721 kilometres or something like that. That's it, Nullarbor Plain finished. First time I've ever done it.